But first, you know a government's under pressure when ministers lose their cool. And you know that ministers are desperate when they become nasty and personal. And that's what happened today when the Attorney General Mark Dreyfus behaved badly in a press conference, responding to a very reasonable question from Sky News reporter Olivia Caisley. Caisley asked Dreyfus whether he felt the government owed Australians an apology given four, four now foreign criminals released by the government had been uh, detained for allegedly reoffending, highlighting the risk that the release of 148 detainees continues to pose to community safety. Do you owe an apology to those in the community that have been subjected to misdeeds by some of these individuals? Olivia, the reason that these people have been released from immigration detention is because the High Court has made a decision that means it is illegal for us to continue to detain them. I want to suggest to you that that question is an absurd question. You are asking a Cabinet Minister three Ministers of the Crown to apologise for upholding the law of Australia, for acting in accordance with the law of Australia, for following the instructions of the High Court of Australia. I will not be apologising for upholding the law. I will not be apologising for pursuing the rule of law. And I will not be apologising for acting... Do not interrupt. I will not be apologising for acting... I will not be apologising for acting in accordance with a High Court decision. Your question is an absurd one. OK, I think we'll move on here. Yep. Now, that reaction from Dreyfus is telling for a couple of reasons. The first is that he reacted as forcefully as he did over an apology because he knows Australians are owed one. Now, this is textbook deflection. Don't give any ground, don't admit that an apology might be reasonable. Hit back hard and show you still believe the government's in the right. Well, no Australian believes that. People know this government's stuffed up. They know Labor are half-hearted on national security and border protection. They can see how incompetently the whole detainee issue has been managed. Australians aren't stupid. This is why the government's now polling neck and neck with the opposition. The second thing that was clear in his use of the big man's tactic of intellectual intimidation to a junior, in this case, my colleague, Sky News colleague, Olivia. It was clear in that. It was, it was designed to bully her. The King's Counsel Dreyfus puffing up his chest, trying to imply Caisley's dumb or at least nowhere near as clever as him with that whole line. I want to suggest to you, he said, that question is absurd. It's designed to make junior journalists like her think twice about asking tough questions of the suits behind the lectern. Now, what struck me most during that spray was his reaction mid-question to this. And I will not be apologising for acting... Do not interrupt. I will not be apologising for acting... I will not be apologising. Do not interrupt? I mean, you're kidding me. I've witnessed hundreds of Canberra press conferences and getting interrupted, well, that's a given. But that hit back at Kaisley wasn't about her interrupting him. It was about using her as a public example of what happens to any journalist from here on in who wants to keep going hard on the issue of detainees and all the legal detail. Because that's the whole reason there were three people in that press conference today. It was so that Dreyfus could run media interference and try and protect the two hapless ministers with him, Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill and the Immigration Minister Andrew Giles. Both had hid from the media yesterday when the child sex detainee was arrested. And today they had the bully boy Dreyfus there in the vain hope that Labor can shut this issue down and make it all go away before Christmas. And they have to do that. Otherwise they can't reset. Otherwise they'll start next year in the same poor shape they're finishing this one. Now it's worth adding here, Kaisley copped a whack today not just because Dreyfus didn't like her question, but also because she's a Sky News journalist. Many in Labor don't like shows like this where we pull apart the detail of what happens in Canberra. 
They don't like the fact that we can read the play, that ex-staffers like me know what rock to look under to find the truth. They blame us for the no vote in The Voice. They blame us for helping people understand just how much they have stuffed up this detainee issue. But if they think bullying our Canberra Bureau will get us off their back, or journalists like Kaisley to cower, well, they better think again. This is not the first time Labor men have targeted Olivia Kaisley. I know you're trying to ask a question, but the question is so dumb it's hardly worth an answer. You know, Sky News, you've got to, you know, you've got, you've got to dust up your reputation beyond Sky News, you know, and you're probably doing your best to do that. What is it with these men? Is this the new Labor tactic for female journalists, particularly those who work for News Corp that get under their skin? I had a ringside seat during Victoria's lockdown years as Daniel Andrews tried to bully certain female journalists who held him to account, including the indefatigable Rachel Baxendale from The Australian. Now, day in, day out, he treated her very differently than all the others. Day in, day out, he never let up. But to her great credit, nor did Baxendale ever give up. Do it. The allegations like, concern her branch. Well, is it her, it's her branch, is it? Is she it? owns the branch. The branch is in the Skull and FEA. The branch FEA. Her the br no, it, no, it, no, it does not. It, it was in well, 2019. it doesn't, yeah. Well, we just have to be... Very, being accurate is very important. What do you have to, um, to, to say to the fact that IBAC is concerned about grey corruption within your government and they have mentioned you specifically? Well, no, I don't accept that. You, you, have, you, have, you have paraphrased the report. And I, I, don't, I just well, quoted no the report finding. directly. No, 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 well, I'm sorry. You've just put something to me that I don't think is in the report at all. Strong women and Labor men. It's like oil and water.